right, everybody. Welcome to what is season two of something called Off the Beaten Path. What is Off the Beaten Path, Mr. Maddox? Off the Beaten Path is just uh, us science geeks doing some fun stuff, uh, using science to make life fuller and richer, and then share that experience with you. And Mrs. Barzik, what are some of the things we've done already with Off the Beaten Path? Uh, let's see, season one, we took a nature walk. That's how we kind of started this off. We were off the beaten path. Uh, what else did we look at? We looked at how Christmas trees are grown. We looked at cow flushing. Um, we took a survey of a stream. We went to Elk Creek and uh, looked at the organisms that were alive in that creek. Chemistry, chemistry, what else do we do? Chemistry, chemistry magic, magic show. show. Beekeeping yes. or apiary? Awesome. Yes. Apiary. Yep. One of my favorites, actually. And, and we looked at how honey can be harvested. Um, harvested from from the um, beehive that Mr. Maddox's in-laws have. Oh, beehive. Um, oh, beehive. Um, so we have a, a full set of uh, shows uh, in the making for you for this semester. Um, and we're going to start off with a bang, literally. <laughs> Um, and today's episode is all about um, kind of like explosive and extreme um, science. physical science experiments. Um, we're starting today with uh, some liquid nitrogen and we've got it in this special tank here. And liquid nitrogen, uh, if you take a deep breath, oh you got a mask on, I'm sorry you can't take a deep breath. 80% um, is uh, nitrogen, N2. And um, so it's mostly in a gaseous state, but um, this right here is cooled, uh, extremely, extremely cold, um, and it's in a liquid state. And so you're gonna see as we start to transfer it from our tank into our bowl, um, you're gonna see a lot, of, a lot of vapor, a lot of, it looks like steam or smoke. That's actually just the nitrogen boiling off uh, at, from uh, the warmer air around. All right, so. So we got the we got a rubber tubing here. It's soft and it's flexible. And what we know about the particles in this rubber are um, that they're kind of uh, loose and moving around, and that's what makes this thing flexible. Um, and at 70 degrees or whatever the air temperature is in here, they have some energy and they're able to move about. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stick this in the liquid nitrogen. And it's gonna slow those particles down in that, uh, that rubber tubing. Make it extremely cold. Mm. Let me bring this out. It shatters. Those, those uh, particles are no longer uh, flexible anymore. That is, uh, well, that's harder than elbow macaroni right there. Uh, so uh, we're going to try some Cheetos here. Do you want them all? Well, let's, uh... Yeah, keep those bad boys in there. A little try, Steve. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. tough the magic ring. <laughs> you want to try? Come on. Come on. Get in oh, get in there. Get in there, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, Mr. Maddox. All right, so. I've been told you should never, where's the stinking lid? You should never, oh man. Bye 
bada bing, bada boom. So what we are expecting is uh, those uh, very, very cold liquid nitrogen are going to boil away and they're going to get to go into a gaseous state. And in doing so, they're going to expand in volume. And that volume is going to create pressure. And that pressure is not going to be able to be contained by our uh, plastic water bottle. And so uh, we might hear a loud bang or a pop. Maybe I hear something happen. Somebody's quite ready to go check it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Uncle Bobby just threw the M80 out in the yard <laughs> and the fuse. <laughs> Did you get that? Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, that Everybody thing is, oh my shattered. goodness. Oh, Woo! my. <laughs> it's lens. like ribbons. Oh, oh, that we're only doing loud. that one once. <laughs> uh, somebody let the administration know that we didn't blow yes, it. Was... Oh, beautiful. I told them we were doing that, but uh, I don't think anybody was ready for that. Oh, it didn't sound that loud it's on TV. <laughs> 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 You guys okay back there? All right, all right, all right. Whew. All right, what else do we want to do here? What about the racquetball? <laughs> yeah, definitely the racquetball. All right. Uh, so, this guy right here, Mr. Dirkman, he was a high school uh, athlete. I think he played. Uh, little basketball, but I think he can throw and do the honors of throwing this here. All right. Oh, it's pretty good against that wall over there. Watch out, Ray. Don't wait too long. Uh, yeah, that was not hard enough, apparently. Let's bring it back. Let's uh, submerge it again. Here we go. Another layer. Huh. You only got one glove. <laughs> Can you, can you put the egg in there at the same time? I think, uh, I think Chuck Norris. Uh, Chuck Norris is. Uh, yeah, this. Well, I want we to may see not what... want to. That mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Nolan Ryan, let's go. You ready? Yeah, you got your goggles on? Go ahead and grab it. Right here? Yeah. I'm going to move over to there. And... Move, yeah, move over there. Yeah. Ready? yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it sounded like a cue ball. It did! <laughs> it just ain't working. It does not sound like a racket ball. I saw Dr. Holmey do it and she shattered it. <laughs> Wait. Is that cement? Is it? But so is the floor. The floor is concrete. Is, but little... gonna... Yeah, but at least that way it's not going to bounce up and put a light out. <laughs> I wasn't even All right. Whoa! Egg. 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 Her. Her. <laughs> Who? All right. What are we doing with the egg? I Drop think it should go. Put it in here, yeah. That way. Nothing. Oh! Nothing. <laughs> this is the egg drop challenge, people. Let's get you oh, some liquid. Oh, oh, oh. Look, at, look at that. Ooh, hello. Frozen egg. Yolk is solid. I'm using this as a shield. Oh, there's some dippy egg for you, Mr. Sturgis. Some dippy egg. Would you like that? Oh, ho, ho. all right. I'm going to put that Your in. Your gloves are eggy. Yucky. Okay, marshmallows? Marshmallows. Getting it on these. I want marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, Cheeto and marshmallow. Oh, yeah. good combo. Oh, up the nose. I got it. I saw it. Fun with liquid nitrogen. All right. Liquid nitrogen. All right. Ready? I think you got to squeeze it out hard. Ooh. Oh, this is going to win me an award for photography. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, that
Yeah? You want to tell me what's going on here? Uh, okay, so uh, we got some ethyl alcohol here, uh, which vaporizes really, really quickly. And we're going to pour it into our jug here. Um, we'll rinse it around a little bit, try to encourage it to uh, vaporize. And then we're going to light a match and see what happens. Are you ready? So uh, as the vapor expanded and it was coming out, um, it ignited. And uh, upon ignition, once it started to combust, um, things heated up. All of the air in that container expanded very, very quickly, causing a sudden, uh, almost like a jet engine, kind of burst of flame out of the top of that. And then the rest of the remaining vapor went ahead and combusted and then poof, went out. Pretty cool, yes? One more time. We're, we're, we're rolling. Mr. Maddox, what you playing with? This is sodium metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And look at how shiny. Ooh, look at that baby. <laughs> uh, look at how quickly it turns white. It oxidizes and reacts with moisture out of the air. Um, very, very reactive uh, with water. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, what we wanna do is uh, I'm actually um, practicing um, some of the basic principles that we teach in physical science about controlling the rate of a reaction. Um, we want to increase surface area. And so I'm taking this and I'm flattening it out a little bit. And I've got warm water, so the warmer the water, the faster the reaction takes place. And I'm using a pretty healthy chunk of this sodium here. What kind of reaction should they expect from this sodium in water? Well, I was taught to always under promise and over deliver. So what we're looking for is uh, a couple of sparks, um, some fizzing. Possible um, bad. Yeah, but uh, let's not get our hopes up, huh? Do we want to do two pieces? Like two in a row? Kind of yeah. Sure. All right. I've been watching a lot of like culinary shows lately. Uh -huh. I feel like a, a judge testing, cutting open the, the our fancy dish. finished dish. Yeah? Yep, we're good. Woo -hoo. Was that fun? That was a lot of fun. Yep, absolutely. Oh my goodness. You know what? We are overgrown kids, right? <laughs> uh, would you agree with me that we like doing cool stuff? I love when we do these videos and I 
I have a question in my head and I ask one of these two, like, what do you think about this? And one of them goes, let's try it. Let's figure it out. That's what I really enjoy. Yes. Uh... We get to play for a living. Be curious and figure things out. It's fun. You can play all you want. I'm working hard, right? <laughs> um, working hard at play. So w this was a lot of fun for us, and we got to do some things today that uh, maybe we wouldn't in a normal year. Um, you know, there was a little question of safety. We were all wearing glasses and had a lot of distance between us and uh, some of the things that we did today. Um, so safety is, is paramount. These are not things that you should be trying at home unsupervised. Um, you know, we've had small scale uh, practice with these things and we, we've kind of ramped up from there. So um, safety. Secondly, um, this is, this is um, application of what we learn in eighth grade. Um, Mrs. Barzik, tell us a little bit about how this applies to what we teach in eighth grade. Well, in this video, so we, we looked at elements and we got to see them in their natural state and in their not natural state. So we saw nitrogen. That's a majority of the atmosphere around you is nitrogen gas. We don't see it as a liquid for obvious reasons. We saw how cold it needs to be in order to be a liquid. So we got to see nitrogen. We also got to see sodium, which you're not going to find in nature. You're not gonna stumble upon sodium for obvious reasons. It's very, very reactive. So you might have table salt that you're gonna sprinkle on your food. And that is sodium chemically reacted with chlorine, which you also don't wanna see in its natural form. Both of those would be problematic if you encountered them. So, but if we combine them chemically, which we talk about in eighth grade science, we get something that you put on your food. We Delicious. get sodium chloride, yes. And you like to eat it. Delicious, yes. Um, so, um, you know, I, I really think that, you know, we, we as a middle school student, I, I tended to, I enjoyed science, but there were a lot of things that I thought were kind of boring or difficult. Would you agree with me, Mr. Sturgis? I had a different experience in science, especially in eighth grade, when I had a teacher that did some of these things that we did today in front of me, which made me lean towards science and want more science. Awesome, awesome. So um, I, I think that the knowledge is power and gaining information and how to use that um, really, um, gives you a sense of control over your world around you. And once you understand some of these basic principles, you can um, use them to your advantage to, to do some of the things um, that we did today safely um, and, and having fun with it. So I think that's a wrap. Until next time, what is it, what does he say? Stay cool, stay calm, and eat your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Did you cut me out? <laughs>